Hello there and welcome back to another episode. We have just uh, 0.3 days left until the rainy season and I'll resume the time as well. Uh, the trout, the long trout is now over. So as per usual, let's go through a few, few things that I've done uh, whilst we were in that trout because some of those tasks were pretty boring and tedious such as well let's let's just get started yeah i know it's getting a little bit dark but uh, we'll speed up the time yeah let's put it three times the speed so the levee wall right on this hill is now complete which allows the water to go all the way around uh or maybe we actually did it in the last episode a anyways so we also have this mine yeah so we were a little short of resources particularly or uh the gears is, is yeah the the issue or was the issue until now so the trout has now finally ended um yeah so we got a few more barrel pots as well uh right moving on let's take a look over here we've um, finished up the links of uh, of levies that need to be or where they need to be so this pool should hold a lot more water as well uh, up on these dams are you controlled by anything uh, you are not. Okay, let's, uh, I guess we can drop you to the lowest for the time being. Um, we have been building up this pool over here. Oh, I forgot to put a little triple floodgate in here, but that's okay. We can just leave it. And we got a few dynamites as well, so we can detonate you guys, right? Yep, and the same right over there. Okay, beautiful. So... Our plan is to drop it as many levels as we can really, make this pool a little bit deeper, therefore hold more water for the longer trouts. Now this is the next section that we are doing right here and it seems I have forgotten to do a few trees. Okay, so let's take you guys off and we might even need to give you a little road here as well. Let's make it the highest priority and oh. There we go. These trees as well, please. And so... And the same with these ones. I think there's enough space here, but I don't really trust myself. So what we shall do is let's put in this levy with the highest priority. You can probably go a little bit lower for now. Okay, and then you shall... Oh dear, can we grab this road? Yep, there we go. Nope. Here we go. And we'd like to be able to climb up from here as well. And then maybe, yeah, let's do a couple of platforms here so they can fix the rest of the two Thames in here. Okay, beautiful. Where are you guys going? Please tell me you're not going. I think I'll have to pause them. Oh, uh, yep, there we go. They were trying to construct one of them. Anyways, all right, so this is being cleaned up, which is wonderful. Uh, let's put in a road in here as well. There we go. And we need a couple more. Actually, just one should be enough. If we delete this road here, we can do one more already. And same with you. Alright, so that's the dams over there. Now, Golem Factory is looking pretty good as well. Uh, <laughs> with the second assembler... Uh, we can definitely do one more, but it feels like we don't need it so desperately just yet. What I would like to start doing in this episode is the observatory, because we are going to need a lot more science. And whilst we had the trout, what I've done here is... I think I did it during during the trout. Yeah, all the, the, the wheat that we have growing here but also the power links and the platforms as well. And we got a second, uh, what is it, the farmhouse right about there. Uh, for the observatory, we are going to need a tapas shack. So, uh, well, this area is a little clean right now. Actually, do you know what? Never mind. Let's uh, stick you right about there. Okay, beautiful. Moving on, we've got those houses down here as well. So... You still have a few spare beds, so why don't we pause one of them? Okay, wonderful. And we have also raised the water pumps by one level because we have completed the levees all the way around. Yep, 
all the way. That took a very long time. It's pretty boring, but it's done. So now we will be able to hold a little bit more water and they're actually paused because this water cage is controlling them right now. Uh, so as soon as this one uh, touches a bit of water, we will be able to construct them once again. Okay, so in this district as well, we've got a few barrel pods, which uh, I think I'd like them to. I'd like to expand onto the mountainside right about there. Uh, so we'll get this built and we'll do like a district center right about here. So um, let's, let's plan this in. So we are going to need dams. It's a very tiny pool here. But I'm thinking something like so. And because I'd like them to start crossing over as well. How shall we do this? Should we... I think the cheapest might be to let them go down from here actually. As a matter of fact, yeah. We'll save on the planks a little bit. Oh, this one's a little tricky. Why don't we do it from that side instead? Yep, this might be a little bit easier. So they can walk through here. Go to the opposite side. And then maybe they'll climb up right about here again. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then we can start clearing these trees up here as well. Uh, right, so next level would be, I guess, somewhere... I think for the time being it's fine if we just do two tams in here. And same with... Or, do you know what? We can... Let's do three, just in case. And then eventually we'll... <laughs> let's see. So you're not going to fill up too much, are you? We can always raise it with the levees a little bit higher. And then the very last level will be right about... Right about here. First we have to block you in. And then we can do something like... So I know we don't need that many, but... But that's okay. Yep, that looks fine. So... Once the district center is in, we'll send the bots over as well. Or oh, the columns. Uh, well, they are going to be renamed. Uh, I did see the newest developer notes or the log. And interesting stuff, I must say. Uh, right, right, right. Not really sure where exactly we want them. Maybe here is better. So that way they can still go left and right. Okay, and... Do we want you? Well, you're going to have to turn at some point anyways. So why not do it now? Okay. And maybe a couple here. And same. Just need a few levies, don't we? Yeah, you can be closed off. And off you go right about there. And then we'll probably have to fill the gap somewhere. And uh, this one seems all right here. And just to finish it off with the road as well so we can start clearing on the opposite side. Perfect, so we got the infrastructure, well, kind of like a rough plan in place at least. Uh, right, so what is happening? Do we have any beavers? Do we have enough construction beavers? Oh no, we don't. So why don't we waste a few of those logs, put the barrel pots in there, and with you guys, because you're no longer needed here, I guess we'll just send all of you over. And since no one's here, let's just pause the building so we do know that there is nothing happening. Okay, beautiful. So, I think that's all the updates that did happen over the drought. So what I'll try and do in the future, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try and, I don't know, uh, do less off-camera work. Yeah, so we'll figure out a way what's the best to sort of skip the tedious tasks that don't look so exciting and... You know, you've already seen plenty of times as well. Uh, and just, um, yeah, hide less of gameplay. Uh, right, so let's have a look at it here as well. So for water should be flowing in pretty soon. We got a couple of sections where we are storing a bit more water to, to keep this area clean. I think the next step that we would like to do here is expand this zone so i'm not if you remember from one of the earlier episodes my whole plan was to have the farms be placed the furthest away 
and then um, bakeries and the griddles a little bit closer here so there's always kind of like a one-way movement of the resources whereas right now we've got the farms closest to the living complex right about there then they take the resources back to the griddles here and then they go to the houses so it's a uh, kind of like a zigzag that they're doing which I did want to avoid, so yeah, I definitely did make a bit of a mistake over there. Power, obviously, is is not ideal, which we do have to 100... Oh, dear lord. What is happening? How did this water get in there? Hmm. And this whole area... Are you sending too much water through? What's going on? So maybe we'll raise it to 2.5. Let's see what happens. It shouldn't too much, but... Oh, the top as well. I'm not entirely sure why I left them open. But I did. So let's close them up again. I think these trees are not going to have a very happy time. This should probably... Clear up pretty quickly. But not this one here. Okay, we can unpause you guys let's see hmm okay levies in these sections yep and we'll also give you the highest priority for the both sides because we do want to have it done as quickly as we can and this side is still flooding hmm I'm thinking maybe we could do another levy tower so the water wouldn't go through this way well, let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. It's not looking pretty right now. But hey, at least we do have water. Talking about water, why are our stocks so low right now? Oh dear. Okay. Uh, <laughs> since this area is going to be a bit of a bridge, I think we wanted to do, yes. So how about we slap down just one more water pump right about there. And maybe second highest priority. Yep, because we got 36 beavers in here. And it seems the what we are producing right now is not quite enough. Alright, now metal. Ooh, we don't have a lot of metal. So we cannot do the bridges that we want to do. So you go about this far. Well, let's, uh, let's have a look. So two sections in the middle right this might be yeah so why don't we let them build that section there gives them a maybe a bit more direct route yeah and then this bridge over here will be unnecessary okay uh, beautiful what's unconnected oh we've got a rooftop place in here so we would like to give them access to that one. But I don't really want to give or make difficult road connections. So how about we put the put the ladder right about here. And if you give it the highest priority, I know there's quite a few high priorities already. But hopefully someone will be free to do that. And I think what's missing from here is a quick flood gate, just like so. Uh, right, how is water? Water's going through. Oh, you're not sending water through because you are still have a bit more water here. Hmm. Well, at least this pool is filling up pretty nicely. Yep. And we've got the stairs now done as well, which is fantastic. What we can do, we've got this link here. And we shall create this new little district. We would also like to have a drop-off zone. Let's say we do it right about here. And you are also going to need a district center, right? Um, how about... Will we be able to... I don't want to block any of those routes. So maybe... Hmm. But I sort of do want to keep it easy. And this might give us the reach that we want. I mean, we can always move it up a little bit more. Or further. I guess for now, this should be sufficient. 
So we can go up from here. Let's do it this way for the time being. And we are going to have yeah, a few workers there as well. So first thing we need to do is we'd like to start sending you some biofuel. Uh, second route would be blanks because we do have to construct those stairs as well. Okay, so there we go. You guys have something extra to do now. All right, so it is nighttime, so we'll skip it and we'll be back in the morning. All right, and there we go. So we'll also set up this district real quick, which means we need a distribution center right about there. And since uh, we do have a lot of wheat up on those hills, we are no longer needing this zone here. This reminds me, we do also need a tapper shack right about there just to get a little bit of pine resin oh yeah that's all you're waiting for right now well that's beautiful we should be starting to get a lot more science very soon well provided that we do get the power as well okay so there we go this distribution post can go right over there please have it constructed once it is done i guess we can do a drop off zone should be fine right about there i would like this road to be a little bit more direct so what we'll do is let's take out uh, everything in here we can put a couple more potatoes just like so and with the rest all these trees do you know what we are just gonna cut it all down yep as soon as we do send those columns over oh we do have three spare right now are they in this district here? Yes, they are. Oh, interesting. Um, can we? Oh, we can. Right, so why don't we... Uh, how many can we do? We'll take... Maybe two is fine. So it comes at a nice steady pace. There we go. One and two. And now what we shall tell them to do is... Please start harvesting. Did I pause this? No, we don't need to pause. Yep, please start harvesting all of the trees that you can see in this area. So we will gather a few logs. And those logs will help us start constructing... Uh, there we go, slightly high priority. Okay, one can work here. The other one's going to be the construction golem. And have we carried any blanks? No, we have not. Let me guess, that's probably because we don't have any. No, we don't. Okay, what's being transported here? Gears and scrap metal. I guess we need one more of you here. Oh, you are transporting over blanks. Or maybe we just didn't have enough uh, hands on deck to help us out. All right, is anyone constructing you as well? Not really. And yeah, I'm not a huge fan of what's going here right now. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. Uh, you're not done yet, are you? Okay. Seems to be going a little bit slower, but that's okay. Oh, that's because we don't have enough beavers here. Yep, need another nine. Uh, we do have access to the rooftop terrace, so that's beautiful. And yeah, okay, we'll um, skip the night again as well. Oh dear, another drought is about to start. That was very quick. We did not have... The rainy season for too long it seems uh all right we don't need to dynamite any any of those areas but i just want to quickly check oh yeah all right there we go oh never mind we actually have on this level as well okay very quickly one two and the last not so last that's the last one there we go uh how many what do we have here? A couple scrap metals should be coming in, but I believe we are also exporting you. Yes, we are. So metal is being produced, hopefully, in this district. All right, so things are looking pretty good. I think it would be lovely to figure out a way how we can automatically... Well, it is automatically opened, but the issue is that the water level is pretty low in here. So how about we set this high threshold, uh, let's see, 
low one. What's the level right now? 35. So let's see if we would... Oh, okay. There we go. Oh. That's a little funky over here. If it's below, you should drop it to one, but it's three right now. Oh, okay, there we go. Not one, let's do two. 38. Oh, never mind. It's uh, a little sensitive, it seems. Or maybe we should have had that water gauge a little bit further, further away. Yep, we can also try that. So if we place you... Let's say right about here. Because we do have this little natural barrier. And maybe it stops it from jumping up and down as well. Alright, we'll give it a try. Why is this still not completed? I'm pretty sure you guys have access. Oh, uh, maybe you don't actually. You might be right. I think it's only Forestry District that has access to here right now. But we'll fix it so we can get it done a little bit quicker. All right, it's starting to clear up just a little bit, which is lovely. We just need another levy right about there. Once that is done, we can hopefully enclose this zone here as well. You will need a little bit higher priority. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this episode has been quite a bit of maintenance that is quite necessary, in my opinion. Um, it seems... It's a little odd how most of the water is only going through that side. But not much from here. Yeah. I mean, technically we don't really... We don't even need this barrier here since we do have everything here. But why it's not pushing water through this side is a bit of a mystery. Oh, because we do have two exits right about there. So, well, the drought is about to start. However, which, uh, which one shall we take out? We'll take you out and try and quickly build this one as well. Okay, that should be done before the drought starts, so it will be fine. Uh, another thing, I kind of have a rough idea of what we want to sort of build here but I'd also be very curious to hear what your thoughts are um, I'm personally thinking well we are going to need those batteries a bit of terraforming uh, station as well and I was thinking this in the back area I'd like to keep it as a industry and well since we do have this mine here obviously as well we do want to produce metal in in this sort of uh, small small zone but right behind that, um, I mean, we could raise the sides a little bit once we have a terraforming. Uh, levees isn't going to look very nice, but uh, don't think we want to turn the upper area here into a factory, though. Uh, since, Especially since we do have the lovely little pool here, it would be nice to actually extend it in the future, make it a little bit bigger as well. So we do have that massive tank up here, but also their entertainment as well. And I was thinking perhaps in the future we shall expand into this area. I will definitely keep all those ruins around this place. So we'll try and figure out our construction plans uh, whilst we incorporate all the ruins into them as well, which I think should be, should be pretty cool. Uh, now, oh... Okay, we might have to get rid of a few more trees in here, don't we? Yeah. So, one and two, maybe all of them. You guys can go, because you're not needed anymore. You are already building it, which is very lovely. And let's take a look. Have you completed it? Yes, you have. Is the water... Oh, there we go. It was just... Uh too many of those dams in here but now everything is working as it's supposed to be or intended to at least what i do like in this zone also is those matching ruins on both sides so it kind of looks like we've got the entrance gates uh, into the pool area yeah very lovely indeed all right let's check on a couple of the other areas as well i feel you guys might get a little bored soon 
uh, I'll speed up the time as well since it is night time. All right, let's uh, give you the roads that you are going to need. And I th think we're also gonna do a little bit of uh, landscaping here. Yeah, let's do that. So this one needs to be built. You can be paused. Uh, do you need to be paused? Oh no, we just don't have a storage it seems. So how about we place you right about here. All right, there we go. We can now resume the time and I do have to give you a bit of a like a little cutting area as well. Okay, there we go. All these trees can go. Now we do want to climb. I'm guessing somewhere here, right? So if you go through, you can take all these trees and maybe we can have the stairs right about here. Okay, so that's a good start. And you know what? You can also take all of those ones. Okay, let's have one of the bots working. Oh, it was paused. There we go. One is right here and we shall start clearing those trees as well. Uh, beautiful. So construct these stairs and yeah, we're not going to get those dams ready before the drought starts, but you know, we'll uh, work towards it. Isn't this looking lovely? Yeah, plenty of water stored. That should take us through the longest of the droughts. At least with the population that we have currently. Uh, we don't need this many of you here. And we'll set up a route of biofuel as well. Okay, there we go. What is your problem? Let's see. Some routes are not functioning. Oh, I see why. Um, can we please remove those potatoes so we could put in the link uh, they can only run about this far okay so that's fine right do we have any beavers coming over not sure no anyways we can I guess we can yeah leave it for a little bit it seems we've got the power coming in not quite at the level where we need it However, things should be working, so we're closing we're closing to 3,000 science points, which is fantastic. Now, these all these trees are going to die unless we go and rescue them. Is it worth doing that? Um, I'm not so sure. I don't even know how we're going to get down if we're coming from that direction. So that means we do have to go from here, but that's going to waste a whole lot of planks again. How many planks do we have in this zone? Yeah, not enough to justify rescuing a few trees. We can always replant them as well, so it's not a massive disaster. All right, there we go. Another trout has started, and it seems we are not getting a shorter trout. It is actually going to be 27 days, which is... Um, you know, it's it's fine. It's actually good because it means we can finally test out how this little pool, lake, reservoir, whatever you want to call it, how functional it is going to be. Uh, right, so we also do want to change you up and let's do it this way. Uh, okay, low threshold. Let's say 40... Uh, maybe maybe point four. Let's do that, and we'll drop you to one point five for now. High should be. Let's try that. Let's see what happens. Oh no 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 no. Two point five. Yikes! Almost flooded the whole colony. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's um go nice and steady with this so you're currently 2.5 oh you're not really letting a lot of water through are you so maybe two is more suitable well uh, just a bit of a spill I wonder if this could be fixed with a couple of strategic levies 
in these locations. Let's see. So, because we do have the dams in here. So the water, they and this, they start letting water through when it's 0 0.5. Right now, you are also 43. Ooh, okay, there we go. Get those constructed. Maybe we say if it goes to, yeah, let's, let's leave it on 3. It should be fine. It's not broken yet, so we... Yeah, if it's not broken, don't try and fix it. What is broken, though, is... Um, I think this link here, they are not able to reach it because it's out of the out of the reach essentially. Yeah. So what we shall do, we will call in one and two of those beavers. They will start constructing here, and we can also do, yep, a couple of flags right about there as well. And we can call in some biofuel now. Do we have any spare beavers here? Oh, actually we do. So let's put a second one right over there. And you guys are already deconstructing and dismantling stuff. I would like one of you to be stationed. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So you are going to start clearing up this area. What you are also going to need... I think a log pile would be would be useful, so why don't we give you that access? And then they will hopefully start building up all the levees that we do need as well. So wonderful, hopefully we will get this area organized pretty quickly. Now uh, it seems we didn't have enough time to send over some biofuel, but that's fine. Uh, morning's already here. Let's see what else is happening. So they must be our water pumps, lacking workers materials which one is you oh potatoes okay so we might need to be harvesting or maybe we just have too many grills what's our potato stock not very high you are both doing potatoes though i guess we oh yeah they're a little bit further away but that's fine we will have it fixed very soon i think the district center will move to a bit more centralized location in the future so that way we would have access to everything and then we just transport it to our main district. Right, let's see how this is going as well. Clearing up pretty quickly, right? Yep. And what else do we need to do? I think this zone is pretty fine. As soon as this is all harvested, we will have a bit more of an empty space. And I'd like to have the bakeries and grills a little bit closer. So that means the log piles need to go. And the log piles can go... Why don't we empty this whole area, actually? And yeah, we'll set them up in here instead. And while well, you look at that, they have already managed to complete a little bit of a dam section here. It seems you have nothing to do again, but that's alright. As soon as this uh, staircase is done, there's a few more rows that you can do for us. And I think we can also, yeah, probably harvest a couple more trees over there. And I'm thinking we might even do an extra, extra level right about here. Uh, this seems to be quite okay. Two of you guys in here. Actually, no, yeah, that's going to spill a little bit. Uh, let's do it this way. That's fine. And you are, of course, going to need... Uh, bit of access uh, it's a little bit annoying to bring it through like that so why don't we give you a little bit more direct route do we want to go over or oh actually yeah so maybe they go down from that side or from this side uh, never mind let's let's do it from here we're gonna have plenty plenty of logs yep we shall pass you through like so and hopefully are you going to be able to? Yes, you will most certainly. And we'll pass those roads through there as well. Okay, so this, uh, you get the idea what I'm trying to achieve here. Since it is a bit tedious and boring, I'll do it off camera. Just to fix it up, nothing, nothing major. Uh, when it comes to our construction projects, uh, I'd also, if you have some ideas what we would like to do and build in this area, 
maybe this is the time where we get into some more sort of like a funky interesting landmarks um, if not I was thinking we could do a bit of farming in here but then again this is more like our farming zone and uh, I am also potentially thinking to raise this riverbank a little bit as well because I'd like to have a few more Spadatox and the other one that we're not quite doing just yet and this might even mean that we section off let's say part of our colony here or maybe this one here not quite sure yet but um, it would be lovely to allocate a bit more extra space for farming our water plants as well all right so that's already been a pretty long maintenance episode that's how i kind of see how things were in this one quite a few jobs to do a few necessary ones didn't want to cut out too much of that gameplay so uh yeah whilst we are coming up with ideas for for construction uh projects at least we are starting to fix up our backbone of the colony which is the the food in here we do have a bit of expansion ready as well water should no longer be issue at least in the main district uh, this one however uh, okay you got a healthy stock in there as well and we do have a spare column why don't we call you into this district right oh i forgot to check where is it oh, okay yeah it's in our main one there we go we'll send you over as well beautiful off you go and our forestry district everything seems to be going uh, pretty well so far bit unfortunate how this area got a little flooded but you know what it's fine uh, next thing i'll do as well i'm gonna mirror exactly the same uh, thing that's on the opposite side and place it right about here so even if I do it off camera, don't worry, it's, uh, it's not as exciting. And uh, this one here seems to be complete. I think in the next one what we shall carry on with is dynamiting this level down a little bit. And also we want to slowly keep building this whole section. I have just realized it seems they don't have access. Yeah okay so we'll fix you up as well there you go we'll get it all done and i'm not quite sure how we're gonna get to the other side yet but a few platforms should do the job right there we go so you should be able to construct everything it seems that's the furthest they were able to go yeah they can't really construct them but that's all right we'll definitely get it done so yeah that's gonna be the end of this episode Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again in the next one.